Yeah, but Quest of the Holy Relic isn't a 2-2 two -two that turns into a 2-3. Quicksilver. Thankfully, I got my uh, Crucible a while back on Moto before it was too expensive. It's actually here. <laughs> right, pink person. I don't mind hedging a little further against... I mean, there's so many... It's funny that people don't play that card, because there's a lot of different ways you can utilize it that people don't think about. I mean, a lot of the time, what its function is, is just protecting Arbiter or the Relic Seeker. That's for the weary. I, I like trying the one of uh, Fountain before we do that. So this is turn one. You can either, uh, depending on what he is, I may opt for turn one Wayfair. It just depends on what my opponent's on. Um... If I go that route, uh, it just, it really, it can mold the five. Could be combo. So I'll probably do Thought Seizing. Oh, I'm gonna Thought Seize. Mul mul Mulligan way down. Yeah, I'm Thought Seizing. And then play Scalding Tarn. There's a few decks on my radar. I wanna make sure that he's not. So let's, instead of going Turn 1 Wayfair, which I think will fuel the Arbiter plan better, I'm just, I'm gonna take a look. Storm? You twin? What are you? What are you? Okay, do this deck. Uh, I don't have... <sighs> he kept a very land light hand. Um, I think you take the Power Master. Because if, if he draws a land next turn, it interacts so well with his Detaxian Pro. Oops. I think I'm going to leave him with the Angler. A snap, a probe, and take the power master. Yeah, I agree, Pete. Oh no, you don't fetch there, dude. That's weird. And 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 the reason I say that is because you're thinning the deck when you want to top deck that second land. I mean he may still draw it. Because there's a lot of land still left in the deck. Uh, but I don't think he fetched there. Because now he's gonna just probe, right? You didn't draw the land, did you? Okay. Now, it's a small percentage. It's a very small percentage. And I'm not trying to criticize the play. I'm sure a lot of players would have done it that way. But as you noticed, he, he didn't find the second land. And he's in trouble. So what I like doing here is going... Um, just slam the Arbiter. And the reason being... Um, no, I, st I think I still like going Wayfair, because Arbiter's a little awkward because I have one more fetch, like I have three fetch, instead of just two fetch. Well, that's not really correct, though, Beers. It's more correct to think before you fetch words to live by. I mean, I don't know if that's really correct, Beers, to do in Legacy, because you really should upkeep fetch if you're going to, if you, like, it, I mean, like, your fetching should revolve around, especially if you're a Brainstorm deck, that the fetching should exclusively revolve around, um, we're going to just go for Lingering Souls here. He kept, he, he mulliganed pretty heavily, he kept the, you know... A questionable five, but I, I would have also kept that five. It was a Gataxian probe land. I just wouldn't have fetched. That's really my only criticism for the opponent, is I just I wouldn't have fetched. Um, you could also go Arbiter Wayfair there, um, which is technically more power on board. Thought Scour? Okay. Right, Beers. If they play a lot of modern in addition to Legacy, I could see that. I could see that, and game is ended. Okay.
What's up, Jasper? And that is how you win that match. I'm just kidding. That is not how that match normally goes. Normally, it's it's it, it is about me cutting them off of a color. That's usually what the match is about. Is you you use your ghost quarters and tech edges in such a way that you cut the Grixis player off of one of their three colors. And especially if I've seen their hand, I can know which color to try to focus on cutting them off of. Is it keep? You'd be surprised, Jasper. They actually work quite well together. And the reason um, is because we're okay paying for the Arbiter if what we're going to get is a Ghost Quarter. Um, it seems like a little bit of a non-bow at first, I'll admit. Jasper, well, once you see the deck get going, you'll you'll see the light. You will see. Now, we don't have any synergy for the Arbiter, so I'm going to drop the Seeker. I'm going to drop the Seeker because I don't have a Ghost Quarter to pair with the Arbiter. So the Relic Seeker is better. Why do you play Tech Edge instead of Ghost Quarter? I play both. You play the playset. Ooh, Living End. Okay, this is a fun match up for my land destruction plan. Yeah, we, we play four of each. That's why we're barely colors. Like, I'm very frugal with which colors the deck utilizes. It's, it's a single white, single black deck that does sideboard into a white white deck in some instances. A white white black deck, but it is primarily just a single white a single black deck. What's up, Durfine? This is a deck I've been working on. Um, play for you guys. What's up? So we're going to search up Sword, and then we're going to play Sword. He's not interacting with my Relic. Doesn't look like he's running anything cool. Like um, I've seen some... Not many living end players utilize things like Shriek Maw. I like Shriek Maw. Or uh, Rift Bolt. Both of which you can run in living end, but they don't do it. And it just bugs me because in modern, I think you should be interacting with at least creatures. Um, Gun Therapy, thanks for the follow. So, what I'm going to do here, I don't have to Inquisition him just yet unless he's the combo version. Uh, I could spend a turn just swinging in. Tutoring the sword, playing sword next turn if we draw a land. Regardless, I'll equip sword and then see what else we draw. You can Inquisition, hopefully take a piece of the combo. Um, the fact that he didn't hit another land makes me really want to just go go ahead and grab sword. No, villager, you just Inquisition the Cascade spell. Like he's in trouble over there. Sword. We don't have to Inquisition yet. Now, if he made a land drop, I may have considered it since he's already got so very many creatures in the yard. Hopefully, he's not the Simeon Spirit Guide version, which a lot of people have, have said is kind of cool. Let's hope he's not that version. Because if he is, he can go off now. Yeah, Kami, I think Shriek Maw is excellent. So I like equipping the sword, and I like getting in for 7. I mean, Relic equipped with a sword is 7 damage, by the way. I have him on a 2-turn clock, two turn clock, by the way. If you do the math with this sword, this is actually a lot of damage. This is, I'm going to kill you very soon. This is a lot of damage. This is, I'm going to put you to 7. I mean, that's a lot of damage when you think about it. Give okay, it your honor the pure. Still definitely going to Inquisition here. Uh, if he has double cascade spell, it's, you know, it's troublesome. 
Important to note, he can't use the black-red Cascade spell since my Relic Seeker has protection. Oh, he has double, double Violent Burst? Okay. Yep, that should do it. He just needs to see a land. Um, you take a Violent Outburst. That sucks. He had double Violent Outburst. Unfortunate for us. Rest in peace. No, Durfine, because I'm a Lingering Soul deck. He's going to hit the land. That's unfortunate. We literally had him next turn. All he has to do is untap and get his land drop. Should have gone Arbiter over Sword. Arbiter doesn't do anything, Partrap. That's not how Cascade works. That's not how Living End works. That makes no sense. Oh, he didn't hit the land, though. So we win. Likely. We likely just won. Unless he has, like, Simeon Spirit Guide. Mm, gotcha. That was turn five. This this deck don't mess around. And I drew a Thought Seize? Excellent. That would have been very much game. He couldn't he couldn't target the relic seeker because it had a sword attached. Okay, enters the battlefield triggers is something they like to do, but they also like to fulminate you. Oh boy. I think end. It's not an easy matchup. Uh, surgical. It was a lot of damage. Well, the sword gives you four, effective 4 damage, and the relic grows to a 3-3, three, three, so I was swinging for 7. I was swinging for 7 with this little guy. He was little. No, I mean, you want to you wanna be you wanna be the land destruction deck in this in this matchup. Uh, I, I don't like Harm's Way that much. I'd rather just bring in... Um, and I don't like Zealous either. Give me Planeswalkers. Maybe even Blood Baron. I don't know how much I like Blood Baron, but it doesn't get Shriek Mod if he's going to run that. Torpor Orb could work. We can we can extract Living End. Yeah, you can. You have to like you have to Thought Seize or Inquisition, and then your Surgical. Um, the two Relics come in, so you cut one more Harm's Way. I don't like Path. It's not very good. Although sometimes their strategy is literally to become a really slow. Uh, grindy. Like, if, 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 if I was to Relic, he would likely turn into a deck that's trying to... I don't think we want the Battle Skull. Right? Hmm. I'm trying to think about which... Do I really want Murderous, even? Especially since I'm probably going to be aggressive with my relics and I may have to pop them. I don't know if I want this at all. Let's try that. I mean, let's let's try to be the more aggressive land destruction deck. Let's try Purge's Decent as Jasper. We could try it next. Purge better than Paths is defeat. I would keep this. This is turn one Wayfarer. He's going to keep a hand with land, so we'll likely get to Wayfair uh, as he moves along. So you just aggressively Ghost Quarter him. Just Ghost Quarter him every turn. Just every turn Ghost Quarter you. Every turn. Every turn. I don't know how many basics he runs, but we're going to find out. It doesn't blank the Relic Seeker, Durfee. You just pay for it. I hear you. Uh, land cycling? That's true. Okay. So, basic planes, wayfinder, go. Right? Keep it simple. We're about to find out 